Alex and Leia. This is a celebration. You've already been pretty much known as Alex and Leia for a long time. I'm sure everybody here has been used to saying that. But from this day forward, you will always be known as Alex and Leia. And the only way that that works is if you take this joining together seriously. I love what the commentator Matthew Henry says of this passage. The woman was made of a rib out of the side of Adam, not made out of his head to rule over him, nor out of his feet to be trampled upon by him, but out of his side to be equal with him, under his arm to be protected, and near his heart to be beloved. To be beloved as Christ loved the church. When Paul writes to the church in Ephesus in Ephesians 5, 22, he says, wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, because the husband is head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of the body. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives are to submit to their husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her with the washing of water by the word. In the same way, husbands are to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hates his own flesh, but provides and cares for it just as Christ does for the church. Since we are members of his body, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Each one of you is to love his wife as himself, and the wife is to respect her husband. And early in the same book, in that same Ephesians, it says in Ephesians 2, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ, even though we were dead in trespasses. You are saved by grace. He also raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavens of Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might display this immeasurable riches of his grace through his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For you are saved by grace through faith, and is not of yourselves. This is a gift of God. And Jesus has given all believers his grace. You want to know how to have a successful marriage? Grace. Be so grace-filled to each other, because though, yes, Alex, you are the head of the family, neither of you is like Jesus. Perfect. So you'll both need to provide grace to each other. Let those around you be so astounded by the mystery of your grace-filled marriage that they wonder to know why. If your marriage, Alex, looks like Christ loving the church and you as submitting to, to Alex like the church submits to Jesus, what a beautiful picture of grace that will be. And so because of your great love for each other, you'll give each other grace. So now we come to the vows. Repeat after me. I, Alex. I, Leia. Make with you, Leia. Make with you, Alex. This covenant of marriage. This covenant of marriage. To live with you according to God's will. I promise to love and trust you. To speak the truth to you. To sustain and nurture you. And with you. And with you. To receive each day as a gift from God. To receive each day as a gift from God. Wedding rings are an outward sign, visible sign of an inward spiritual grace, and the unbroken circle of love signifying to all the union of the two of you as husband and wife. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship, and a promise of all my tomorrows. <laughs> By the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> it is my pleasure to present Mr. and Mrs. Alex Honan. <laughs>